Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know what you're thinking. Dav, this isn't Kuboid Outpost. You know what? Be absolutely right. That's because today we're on the Fusion Craft realm. It's a realm I've been part of. For a, it's a Discord realm, Discord uh, group that I've been in for a good while. And they've set up their own realm. I joined it when they released it. I've been here since the very start, but as a group, we have decided that it's probably best now that we all separate away from spawn, which is absolutely beautiful by the way, that lighthouse do, and uh, travel a couple, couple blocks, I will be going a few thousand blocks in this direction, somewhere between, I don't know, one to three thousand blocks I guess that way. Roughly, hopefully we don't come across another person that's started setting up already But yeah, so I figured if we're starting a new place Why don't we start afresh because obviously I could take all my stuff with me I would have like a head start for the materials and things and the wood, but I figured I would start completely fresh The only thing I'm going to take with me is my 46 golden carrots because my travels Probably gonna make me a little bit hungry, and uh, I was gonna allow as well, maybe a couple of saplings, because why not? We know spruce saplings, number one sapling ever, if you ask me, my favorite tree. So we're gonna take three of each sapling, forty-six carrots. And I think I'm gonna allow myself a bed, just in case you know it turns night as I'm traveling, and unless we set my spawn straight away. Out of a new place somewhere over that way. So, without any further ado, let's grab our bed and uh, let's go. I've just realized this is going to take me a little while. <laughs> oh, so slow. It's going to take me a couple of minutes to get to like 2000 ish blocks. Never mind, I will. Be back when I get there. <laughs> I'll just hold W, I guess. So, we've made it. I like this area. Something, I, yeah, I checked that ruined wall out. It's been looted already. But as far as I could see, there is no one here. Also, I went back, got a red banner so I could claim the land. So people know that we plan on building here. Put some bed. We could probably sleep now because it's getting dark. And, uh, yeah, I like this little sort of surrounding area. We've got two snowy mountains either side of us. We are separated by a lake, so I feel like we could maybe make a peripheral sort of uh, wall going around. I did come past a village that I know it's already been looted, but and to be honest, I'm glad I picked up some saplings. Let's put those down real quick, because as far as I can see, there's one tree. As I turned up here. So, uh, progress on wood would have been very slow. So, uh, yeah, I, I think this area is nice. It's a nice sort of area. You can protect the village maybe with our surrounding wall. Or we cut it off. We could cut it completely out. Come across the front of it. Maybe go around the snow mountain too. Depending on how long this coastline is. Also, I need to come up with a theme. I don't have a theme yet. I'm torn between two. I was torn between a sort of medieval sort of looking town. Slash village slash settlement. Or at the same time I do like the sound of a, uh, like a Japanese sort of themed looking you know um place so you'd have the pagodas and maybe be able to drill a uh, drill don't know why they just said drill be able to build like a i don't know yeah i mean also i'd have to look it up i'm not exactly switched on when it comes to what buildings are in japan maybe i don't just restrict it to japan maybe i just do like a sort of 
Asian. I guess sort of community. I don't know. But yeah, those are my current two options. I might completely scrap them completely and uh, go with something else. But any suggestions in the comments would be incredible because I am stumped. But today, though, we're just going to build a very quick, simple house. Where's my stuff gone? For now, it's not going to be permanent. It will be torn down at some point, and we will make it our own home in the style of the theme that we choose. But until then, we are just going to build a little cube somewhere, enough for us to just store some things, smelt some things, and yeah, just the basics really, I guess, what I'm trying to say. We'll grab the coal later when I get either stone or iron tools. Not, but oh, I'll need it. That was lovely. What was this? Honestly, this... Okay. I didn't know this was here. I swear down all my life. This was a complete and the fluke that I've come across this. I like it. Stone pickaxe. Obviously, I'm not going to get any advancements because I've done them all before. A stone axe. Well, let me our trees grow. Stone sword to go fight those mobs. Uh, I tell you what, with that one call I did mine, let's go down there actually and clear it out. Start it from spawning for now. Also, I'm glad I put my uh, god cats out. We will be clearing these out, lighting it up, see what loot we have in the chests. It's anything nice. This is such a nice surprise. Don't you dare. Such a nice surprise to come across. I, uh, I rate it, to be honest. Wait. That's all we got. Got some bones, we can turn into bone meal. A saddle for when we find a horse. Gunpowder. That's nice. A gold ingot. Two music discs. Two different things. That's quite nice. Oh, that's going in now. Another gold. Some pumpkin seeds could be handy if we ever need to grow pumpkins for voter trading at a later date. More thirteens, more bones. Two wheat, which is not enough to uh, get us anything. Which we'll call. Start by turning these bones into bone meal. I'm growing our first tree. I will be growing a couple of spruce as well, because like I said, spruce is my absolute favourite wood in the game. Between that and some dark oak. They were uh, I don't know what it is. It's the dark colour. It's it just goes well with everything. So let's get a couple of spruce going. Hopefully we ooh, this one grew with vines. Hopefully we get some nice sapling drops so we can plant a bit more because there is very little here right now which is a bit of a worry if we don't get any saplings i'm a bit stuck and that's the end of our bone meal what did we get out of this i'm gonna make a chest just to pull this random drink that i got from that spawner into let's attach it to you Sticks, two music discs. I'm going to put them going on that and that. A wooden pickaxe we don't really need anymore if we throw it off over this way. It will eventually despawn. We'll keep the wheat seeds because we are going to have to somehow sustain ourselves with some food. The saddle can go in too. So far, this is what we have. Offer a great start. It's not night time yet, it looks dark, but it's, hey, we've got a sapling, our first sapling. I mainly have to spruce one, so if we can help it, because... Well, I am going to need probably all kinds, depending on our theme that we go with. But for now, if we all go into the basics, we probably will end up with a little dirty floor and a basic sort of frame. 
Yeah, I don't know why uh, the plans are completely for this sort of series that we got going on. But I'm thinking maybe we... Because I'm not that good with vanilla Minecraft. As you all know, I primarily play modded stuff, which helps making like your farms and things so much easier. So uh, I'll probably be learning how to make some farms. And while I'm learning, I'll also record it. So it's like... I don't know if care for me as well at the same time. Obviously then suggestions to improve on farms would be appreciated a lot. In the meantime we are just going to be probably spending the time gearing up. I maybe should start building a house or I go caving for that. For the uh, some iron so I can get myself I enter this a little house for now. One, two, three, four. I guess we can go to here. Yeah, it's not going to be impressive. I mean, none of my builds probably will be impressive, but. That is what it is. I mean, I think it looks beautiful. Do I do another row of cobble? I mean, it could do with some windows, but... I'm not going to bother with windows yet. I'm just making a house. I mean, this will protect us at night, right? Use up the rest of these. Six. Let's make more torches. So I'm going to go... Caving for some iron. Down in my little hole that we started. Very well, let's check out this bit because you do get some sort of surface iron spawning on these things, which is a very nice find. And I think you get like a bunch of coal too, so we'll check out this area. That was a waste of a little trip. We're gonna go back down into our key that we started, so we went by our house. I wanna go find some iron. Hopefully make a full set of iron tools. I'm not too concerned if we don't get iron armor as well. I just want to be able to mine more. And before we know it, we'll be on our hunt for diamonds, which won't be today. But it's coming. There we have it. We're at like Y46. We found... I messed up my little thing. Because I found some copper here. And two more blocks later. Some two, two iron chunks. Show on show. Hopefully giving us a little bit more than that. I'm not sure how much exactly is going to be here. Hopefully a little bit to make some... So what do we need? We need three, six, seven, eight. And we got exactly eight to make our tools iron. See so yeah, another one to make an iron shovel would be super useful too. So I'm gonna keep going. My pickaxe is about to run out, and I don't have a spear, which is a bit of a problem. And there it goes. So we are gonna have to go back up. That little head bumping thing was doing my nothing. Not to head back up anyway, we're going to take our cup of iron that we did manage to mine. There's a horse there, I could put a saddle on. Uh, got coal to be able to mine it, uh, to smelt it even. Like I said, I did find copper as well on one of the steps, 26 of it. It's a little bit nice. Coal can go back in. We've mined a little bit of cobble again. Makes me think I should put the ring of cobble on top, but I'm not too bothered about that as long as I'm in a sort of safe space. I'm happy. So we're melting, melting, smelting up our iron. I do need sticks again. There's three of that. So now we can go ahead and make our first iron pick. And we're going to wait for the rest to smelt. 
do need to eat. I'm glad I bought these golden carrots for me because you get through them faster than you realize. How is our trees coming along? I feel like at some point I am going to have to make a tree farm. But to make an automatic tree farm, I'm going to need like a lot of bone meal as well to work it. So uh, yeah, this, that's a bit of a problem at the same time. Because I don't have a means to make bone meal yet. Unless obviously I make a mob farm first maybe. But that's, that's not yet. Pull that well, again, iron. I'm gonna go our way here. So we can now make a an axe and an iron sword. Also, we didn't pick up that extra one. So that we could make a, a shovel as well. But that is what it is. We'll find some more, I'm sure, in good time. On that note, we have started again. We've instantly, uh, within a few minutes, gone from nothing to some iron tools. I'll take that. It's a good start. I think next time we do uh, carry on our mining sort of expedition, I'll stock up on some stone pickaxes for my tunneling. And I'll use my iron for any resources that we do find. And I'll see, hopefully, we're able to find ourselves A, more iron, like a load more iron, and B, some nice amount of diamonds. But that's the time I'm going to find too many until I get Fortune Enchant so that I can actually get a decent amount early on. But enchanting is still a good way away. So, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, everybody. Appreciate you check me out. Hopefully, the, this new vanilla Minecraft video is a nice change to the channel, but we shall see. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.